The NPP government's infrastructure delivery tracker captured an emergency ward structure of the Nangodi Health Center in the Nabdam district and an ongoing construction of one kilometer Congo soil road as achievements of the government. But city news checks at the facility shows that the 10 bed emergency ward project was executed in 2018 by the NABDAM Member of Parliament, Dr. Makkat Nawane. The emergency ward was to cater for patient surgery operations and other critical conditions. There was also no contractor working on the 16.5 km Congo Soil Road contract awarded to Damit Enterprise. Our checks reveal that there is no such name called Congo Soy in the Nabdam district, but the road starts from Congo through to Bongo Soy in the Bongo district. Speaking at a press conference in Nangodi, Nabdam Member of Parliament, Dr. Makat Nawani, described as unfortunate the seizure of MP's project as MPP's government achievement. With this 135 or what of what billion that they have borrowed, or they've even added to our debts, they can't account for a single health structure within the four years. And when the member of parliament who represents NDC and who the laws of the country gives him 200,000 or so a year, bills and also hope to use it to help him in his campaign. You are seizing the MP's project and adding it to yours on grounds that you gave the money. It's not you who gave the money. It's the law. It's the constitution that shared the money. NDC Nabdam Constituency Communication Officer James Tenga chastised the NPP government of touting ghost projects as achievements. From our checks, the NPP Infrastructure Tracker has captured the following as infrastructure projects in Nabdam. Point one, ongoing construction of a one kilometer road of Congo soil in Nabdam district. It is elementary knowledge to inform our brothers in the NPP that there is no such community in Ghana, let alone construction of a one kilometer road in any part of Congo. If this is not a lie, then what is it? The NPP should tell us. In another development, the government delivery tracker also captured the construction of 120 affordable housing units in Pusunamogo in the Talensi district as ongoing. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia indicated that progress on the project was 20%. But City News' checks revealed that the project was a public-private partnership with Rocks Estates. However, after the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, cut sword for the project in November 2019, only portions of the site has been cleared and a path leading to the site constructed. Some few blocks, pieces of stones, half trip of sun and a bulldozer can only be seen at the site.